Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, and this is the watch along for Cinema Bondi. Yes, I am doing the watch along to this alone. However, I am hoping that the review portion of this video will include Sintel. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of this reaction. If you're watching this on Patreon, you can watch the entire thing uncut, uninterrupted. However, you'll need your own subscription to Netflix where I am watching Cinema Bondi. I think that's the only place where this is showing. This is directed by Praveen Kandragula. It is also written by Praveen Kandragula as well as Vasanth Marangati and Krishna Prathiyusha. And it's produced by Raj and DK. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And I know that you guys prefer when it's me and someone else doing the watch along, but uh, because there's a lot going on right now with all the stuff, it's best if I do this one solo. Thanks for hanging out with me while I'm doing this alone. Ain't that just the way it goes? Please vote this up. We mean a lot. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, all notifications. And if you're watching this on Patreon, thanks so much for supporting us here. Here we go. I just ate, and that's making me hungry. I love food. The way the rickshaw ride was going, like all shaky and whatnot, I know that feeling. When I went up to like the uh, area in Mumbai where they shoot a lot of stuff, that's what that ride felt like. Extremely shaky. See me there? You the order the baggy there? It's very, very interesting framing. You would respect my dad. I like that. I like that shaft of light coming in. That was pretty. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. Is that a lens? It's just all that expensive equipment just thrown about. That camera is about two grand. That lens is about two grand. That road mic is about three hundred dollars. Wait, is this dude shooting, doing photography with a point and click? The point and shoot? <laughs> Look at the little cameras using. Yeah, that lens is a monster. A shot with that. <laughs> that would be a difficult uh, to shoot a movie with that thing. Unless all of your shots were long, because that's a long lens. <laughs> That's what I always wonder when people go to the movies to see the same film two, three times. I'm like, don't you have any work to do? Like, how do you have time for this? It's a little different. Like <laughs> <laughs> one billion rupees. <laughs> Shoot with ourselves. We're the actors. Oh, damn. Too clear. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> Terrible. That's awful. <laughs> Those photos are awful. That's a pretty shot. Hey, 
సొక్క చూసుకొని వస్తాను రా సొక్క నువ్వే పదరాడే ఉందా అక్కడ హీరోయిన్ కింద చేస్తావు నువ్వు ఏ పెద్ద ఫిక్సర్ తీస్తావు నువ్వు చేస్తావా నువ్వు హీరోయిన్ కింద చేస్తావు పిల్లలు పెట్టుకోవాలా Jesus Ya alra tondre Kun ro lagunte hero hero ans esondra Achu nu sipne to nadra He photo lo undadu kada Atla odu man urle yaadra sikkadu Adi nene ana yara ni pera Umrede ana amana galata na పిక్చర్ తీస్తా ఉండము ఎవరు పోనీ బండికి బాడిగానే కడతావా ఏం ఇదా దీనట్ట లోసేసరు నా లవ్స్ నా ట్రూ లవ్స్ ఏమంగా ను వాటవాడివి కదా టౌన్ మార్కెట్ నుంచి చానా సారలు చూచినన్లే టైం షీ షార్ప్ చూడు ఏం రైదే ఇట్లుందే మంగా ఏమనుకున్నావే హీరోయిన్ అంటే ఈ ఊళ్ళోనే కాదు పక్కుల్ల కూడా వరల్డ్ ఫేమస్ అయిపోతావు నువ్వు గౌర్నర్ అమ్మి నేను ఇడ్సే ఊళ్ళ నువ్వా పిక్చర్ నువ్వు ఐదు <laughs> 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 ఎవరు సిక్తలేదు కానీ నువ్వు చూసాకే తెల్లగా సీర కట్టుకుని ఆడు హీరోయిన్ ఏం మాట్లాడుతున్నా Oh god. This looks so wrong. Mano mano suttala ayipoyam gaani. Idu yere avallu ayithe sitta kotte avallu kadara. కానీ మా అయ్య మా అమ్మకు తెలిస్తే సంపేస్తారు పొద్దున కాలేజ్ పోయినట్లు పోయి షూటింగ్ అడ వచ్చేస్తాను అది సరిపోతుంది కదా మీకు నడుచుకోవచ్చే <laughs> 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 నీ పేరు ఊగించుకుండ స్వర మంజరి నిదానంగా నీ పేరు చెప్పు సిన్ను బిట్టమ్మే ఆరాంగా చేసేచ్చు సరేనా 
What's he doing there? I was wondering about that. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. The charging with battery there. He said something so profound and it's just totally lost on him. Jesus. I know, but we have given the police report, no? You think that's really going to help? Call them right now. No, no, call them right now and put me on the speaker. Whatever. It's not going to do shit. Back point the report, Icham. How many times I told you? No! Village atmosphere is a lot of fun! And the camera is coming It's expensive. It's really expensive. Well, look at that. Crossing paths. This is the Yeragad Sahadu. This is the Yeragadu Chiradina, Radina. Fix your white balance. Oh. Oh. Way to help out. Aau pala lanti swachcha maina na manusne sudu lanti ne kanti chuputo chil che sao na vinte unda va swara manjari. I'd be laughing too. It's terrible. So parga session dora. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. That was terrible. <laughs> That's completely different clothes. They're gonna use the script this kid as a script supervisor. Godly. Nasty. Her parents found out. She got kicked out. 
She got kicked out. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Start shooting this right here. This is interesting stuff. about to say. <laughs> That's actually very, very true to life. God. <laughs> She's selling more fruit. <laughs> She's efficient. Got this, got this kid as a script supervisor. That's cute. <laughs> He's doing special effects. Oh, God. All well, power's back. Charge the battery. I can't imagine any of those shots looking good. There you go. Innovating. I still think it's going to look shaky, but a lot better than him running around with that thing. I was thinking that for a while, too. <laughs> it's cute. Oh man, I love her. She's dope. <laughs> Why do they do that? Oh, for the dance sequence. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Like, what angle is bro getting? He's so close to them. That's completely out of focus. He's trying to make a dolly shot. They're going to get all their help. Oh, that's cute. They're going to lift him up to make a dolly shot. That's cool. It's a makeshift jib arm. Oh, 
That's cool. for them what what if if we go around scout and you know find a couple of photo studios you know we'd have a good chance yeah 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 let's go yeah photo studios sir every now pet the sony camera oh a7 alpha canon 7200 lens sell cheyadaniki vachara every now suspicious ga unte na call cheyandi please are manju ga rudra oh anna This kid's got a whole crew. Hey, camera ko book padi dra. Yeah, that'll ruin an evening. Attend it, na. Picture shan bagos nga da. Attend na, Mr. Monte. Ant picture aag bada na. Attend table kun tamra. Nik photal tis walang da tels ka da. Wal tau ni ka yami tachcha ka yel da. ना कोड़का नी निंका आन तलका के तूट पड़े ये बुढ़बो तड़ा तेली तो अस्पेट लाऊं ना डॉ है ना रे तब पुनी इधर कर रा ना तब पो डैम इधर बाउस है नहीं कासुल ले ओ अंते क्या ये नी नाकारों ना नाल गुर्रे ले मार्केट लेट है कासुल रावा ऐटे मनुर लोड अंदर तलो सही थे ये अंसे प्रा एडंटर रा ह स्टूडियोना ये कैमरा ना दी नो मरीन मार्ट लड़ता हूँ डॉ नी दा एक कर कौन चप्पो टेल मी चप्पो बे नी क दौड़ किंदा आ ना क्या दौड़ किंदा दा, 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 दा का नी ले एक करो ना सरे वेद किच्चा तो उनको ना नो चप्पो बे इन्ना पता इन्ना पता चप्पो रानू वो इन्ना पता I don't care नी मुत्तम जामे चीज़ सब चोडो पे चाहे अ you either pay or we'll go to the police station anta kaasu naa dera adunte dakka na illam mina anta ochaledu naa de entana aa ira gadi illu maridesh gadi angadi ee mang ee mangu dodile maa andar dekku nunna emina anta ochaledu anna aa video kada theesukon paya gada gada em chustha unda na ana gada saa try chestunna anna meek vetla sapalnu teliyala anna nu pothana untana chustunna anna पुरे पुरे पिचर हाँ, पिचर पुरे सहेल में। हाँ, मलिक आसल कोड़िया ले में। इनका वो गिरो आउट आराम करते हैं, इतना ही पहनते कदरा। सूर्य नवरा, बोलो पंच के उच्च ले, पंच में ना करें। How it's raining. Yeah, 
بردون داره؟ ماما بعد اقل بست داده نه؟ Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys cried a little bit. God damn it. I was like, don't, don't, don't. Let it come out. Don't. This is our review for Cinema Bondi. In a nutshell, this is a film about a guy who drives a rickshaw and comes into possession of a camera and decides that he's going to help out his village by shooting a movie that's going to make a billion rupees. <laughs> <laughs> that's the premise, right? In a nutshell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It's like one of those like go big or go home kind of things, right? Exactly. And now this was produced by Raj and DK, and that's actually the reason that I watched it. Raj, I believe, texted me directly. He's like, hey, would you be interested in checking this out? I'm like, sure, dude. And uh, finally I did. And man, like... There were moments I had to hold back tears. And you mentioned yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I mean, moved in a, in a lot of different ways. I don't want to say anything about, with, with, without spoilers as well, but it's, it's a very emotionally, surprisingly emotionally uh, kind of charged film. Yeah. These two producers uh, on this particular show, Raj and DK, they, they have a, a, a real talent of getting into the, uh, into the harder, more heartfelt, more intimate moments of, of their characters. And there's a lot of that that goes on with a lot of the characters in, in this show, everything from the central character to family members to, to even how uh, their environment, village, their, the place where their people stay uh, affects them. And, and you feel it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it reminded me of like the old days, even when you were helping me shoot, dude, just like the old days of like being young, naive and just going for it. You know, thinking yeah. that, you know, you could conquer the world because you don't know what is impossible, you know? Right, yes. You know, you don't know yes. what, is, what is really complicated and difficult. And there was a lot of moments where I just kind of laughed. And it's it's one of those films that's, like, great for people who are actually in the industry at any right. level. If you've had any experience with movies at all, it's like you get a lot of the inside jokes, right. such as the sound situation where um, the character is like uh, the guy who's um, like the handsome guy. He's shouting yeah. and he goes, well, the camera's far away. And the guy who behind the camera goes, oh, we'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. It's like no one <laughs> no one is booming audio. How are you going to take care of yeah. this? Like there's all yeah. kinds of stuff that happens in this film where it's like this is not going to get fixed in the slightest in, 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 in a salvageable way. It was one of those things where as I was watching the movie, I'm like, how the heck are they going to pull this together? I love how the film went is the easiest way to put it. And it didn't yeah. do anything that... I was like, this is so Hollywood. It felt realistic is the easiest way to put it. Yeah, uh, it wasn't an insurmountable odd. Like I'm about to go climb, climb Mount Everest and then there's like a training montage, right? It's not, it's not like that kind of thing. It's something that it comes across as like, hey, I can do this, mm -hmm. right? It comes across as simple as that. And they, and they approach this as like, well, yeah, why, why not? Why can't we do this? But with any endeavor, you know, there's going to be things that there's going to be unforeseen challenges. Right. Right. And it's in and, and that to me is a great spirit of chasing your dreams because you do have to kind of like have that feeling of like, well, why not? Why not me? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, um, I remember debating with Michael Scott a long time ago about the lotto. He's like, why do you do that? Like the odds of winning are so impossible. And I go, well, somebody's got to win. Right. And, and that kind of stumped him. He was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's right. Like somebody has to win. Someone's going to collect on the earnings there. And, yeah. I, you know, I love I love what inspired him because it just felt very true to life. Like you're seeing this stuff on, on TV and you're like, oh, yeah, like that could be me. You know, it inspires. He's like, I just saw a YouTube video the other day that almost had me up and moved to Florida. 
It's like, <laughs> you know, it's it's like you see this stuff and you just get inspired. And it's, so it's a, it's a very relatable kind of film because of the way yes. the, the character responds and all that stuff. And what's also relatable are like kind of what you mentioned just now are the struggles. He has a lot of setbacks in the film and you're like, oh my God, like how would he get through this? How does he get through? And like there, the, the ways that everything comes together, like, like the villagers working together, that's the stuff that touched me more than anything else. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And there, there, there's a specific person that thinks one way realizes what's happening and then changes, changes their ways as a result of it. And it just, and that really got me because this person I didn't like. Right. <laughs> totally. And that's the thing about when you have a really good character mm -hmm. that I didn't like him in a good way because the, the, the reasons I felt that I'm like, nah, bro, you can't roll on my, on my squad kind of thing. So, but when they were able to be redeemed, I was willing to, uh, to allow that to happen because the character and the situations and what's going on was so well done. Yeah. The craftsmanship of creating that story was so well done. I accepted it with ease. <laughs> so that's not very easy to do. Cause a lot of times when you hate somebody, you hate them through and through and you're like, I'm just done with this cat. Yeah. You know, people are just yeah. unredeemable. I was livid with that character too. And there was a moment where I thought that he was going to be the worst person ever. And yeah. he, he does something <laughs> unexpected. And I'm like, oh, 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 this, this is going a completely different way than I had anticipated. Like, this is such a cool yeah. story. I'm looking forward to asking Rajin DK regarding like how close to home was was this not necessarily like the, the the village that the people stayed in? I'm talking about in terms of of building a life in the industry. They, they talk and go through things where it's like you've had to have like really stepped in those waters in order to kind of like to feel that. Like so was it like a love letter to to filmmakers in 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 a sense? Like I'm, I'm wondering how close to home that that, that hit. Right. It felt very close to me. Uh, it does feel like a very personal story, certainly. The naivety of shooting a movie, whether it's a short film or a feature film, the naivety of going out there and just doing it. And, you know, that, that there's something just like raw and lovable about that. That, you know, mm -hmm. it's like you once you once you get past that threshold of, oh, I know shit. And I know hurdles. Yeah. It's like, you can't go back to that. You can't go back to that innocence, you know? And I think that's what it is. It's just the innocence of the movie, you know? Yeah. And so. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. The music also, like all around, I thought it was like the directing and the music, all the, the way it was produced, I thought was just very, very well crafted as a movie because it wasn't like concerning itself with having super fancy shots. It was more about just telling the best story possible. Yes. You know? Yes. And the, I, way, the way the director leaned on wide shots it felt like he was allowing you to really like appreciate this environment, this village environment that you probably wouldn't pay attention to. You know, mm -hmm. I think about like flyover states over here that we just kind of, kind of like the movie Cars. Like we just, you know, you go past these places and you don't really think about them and you don't appreciate them because you're just on a highway to the next location. And, mm -hmm. you know, I like how it was directed to allow you to appreciate this place, the villagers and what they do. What's that term? Uh, God. God protects babies and fools, right? <laughs> you have to be a fool to chase your dreams, in yeah. a sense. Yeah. You, you, you have to be, you have to have that naivety that, that, that you're talking about. Yeah. Because without it, you're not going to have the courage. I think what stops people is they overthink it. And then once you get in that process of just overthinking it, then you, you start defeating yourself. You start right. listening to whatever that voice is in the back of your head. You know, these cats just went for it. <laughs> like, yeah. And I love the main character's like best friend. Had a, he has a profession that he doesn't seem to be very good at, but he's still, you know, he's still pursuing it. He's still yeah. making a living from it. Absolutely. You know, he gets handed a responsibility that's really big and he doesn't understand it, but he's still like, you know, whatever. We're, you know, oh, oh, full steam ahead, man. Yeah. I love that. You know, just just run with it. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's one of those things where it, people who are driven will get further than people who are skilled and talented. It's like, yes, that's, that's the thing about it is if you don't know that you're limited, you're going to do stuff and you're going to learn from those experiences and become better at what you do. That's ultimately the thing. It's like, you know, you have perfectionists who are like, oh, no, no, no. Like they know their limitations. And so they are afraid to put stuff out. Whereas people, yes. who, people who don't know that they're imperfect, people who are like, oh, I can do it. And they just keep doing it and keep doing it. And eventually they surpass the, perf the person who is a perfectionist in both skill and recognition. If you are a person that has goals and dreams that you just really may not just have the, the courage to take that first step. I, I highly, highly recommend this particular film for that because why not you? 
whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to be a seamstress or an artist or a race car driver or whatever, it's well, why not you? Right. You know? Right. Absolutely. Anyways, you guys, I highly recommend the film. Definitely check it out, please. And if you have seen it, please let us know your feelings in the comments below. Follow Sintel on his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Sintel, and give this video an upvote if you could be so kind. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... It's your boy. Peace out.